This will be a day long remembered. Now I am the master. Welcome to another episode of Legends and Theories, and welcome to my review of She-Hulk Attorney at Law, Episode 8, Ribbit and Rip It. And the episode was good for the Daredevil parts, but besides the part where he goes and is in a relationship with She-Hulk, I feel like that didn't really feel natural. I felt like it was just being forced into this. But besides that, I enjoyed everything with Daredevil and the character of Leapfrog. Few decent moments. He wasn't the greatest character ever, but it was an obscure and interesting character. I feel like there was also a lot of forced tension and everything with the super suit designer. Kind of felt unnecessary with him, kind of hating Jen, and it just felt like something it didn't need. But yeah, honestly, I think the only thing that was really enjoyable was Matt Murdock being a lawyer and beating She-Hulk in the lawsuit, which was, I'm not sure how good of a lawyer he was, but also we got to see a lot more with him and seeing how he was really a good guy, and yeah, honestly, I... Really, only didn't really like the scenes where they were together, and I felt like that didn't work well. But besides that, I think they did a good job with him. And then there's just a few other problems I had. I think that everything with Jen just going nuts at the end felt kind of out of nowhere. And it feels like she's gone through a lot more stressful events than this, and with this, she goes into a full Hulk rage, but I couldn't even tell what was going on in there. That was just such a poorly handled scene. And I think a bunch of them getting the Female Lawyer of the Year was also just a really dumb moment. It really made no sense, and it was just a really poorly planned out scene. But yeah, besides that, I just enjoyed most of this episode, but I feel like they messed up in so much stuff trying to set up the finale. And I feel like also the fourth wall breaks have been kind of inconsistent with, in the Wong episode, she didn't know who Wong was until the fourth wall break came through and she was fully aware of Wong, but now... She wasn't aware of Matt Murdock and Daredevil, and with it, honestly, I just think it made no sense, and they have a lot of things that they need to explain, but there's one episode left, and I'm glad that we'll be finished with this, because I'm far more excited for other stuff, and where will find Night Drops tomorrow, so I'll have a review of that. I do want to tell you that my Pennyworth review is almost certainly going to come out tomorrow. I'm not going to have enough time to record this review. And with that, I'm just going to ask you what you think. Let me know in the comments. Let's go on the next episode of Legends and Theories. Thank you for watching this episode of Legends and Theories. Please subscribe, like the video, share the video. Leave a comment, check out the video on screen, and may the force be with you.